Hello, I'm the Sailing Gardener and I'm here in Suva, Fiji. It's been a bit cooler down here, just like in Savu Savu, and it frequently rains as well. In this episode, I retrace some of our nautical miles as we came down here to Suva, and I also visit the Thurston Botanical Gardens here in the city of Suva. But first, let's retrace some of those nautical miles. After leaving Savu Savu, our next stop was Koru Island in Tulani Harbour. We dinghied with some other folk to the local resort on this island. It was a bit of a blustery cool day, but you can see that the resort would be absolutely amazing in beautiful weather. Lovely swimming pool. Palm trees always make places look so exotic and there's our boat out in the harbour. In the centre of the resort sitting area was a garden and this heliconia was blooming there. So stunning. And then it was time to say goodbye to Koro Island and head off to Ovalu Island. We sailed into the town of Livuka, which was the original capital of the Fiji Islands. You can see the old buildings on the waterfront, and we went ashore to explore. Once again, we took the dinghy into town with some friends to check out the local sites. And we walked along the waterfront, and I noticed all of these yellow plants. I think they might be the corn plant, or maybe the spider plant. Out there's our boat. And we discovered this beautiful Catholic church. And we're able to go inside and look at the lovely architecture. And I really liked the stained glass windows. Back on the street, I noticed this gorgeous courtyard garden and popped my camera over to get some photos and footage. These lovely seats and tables were dotted all the way down the waterfront for people to sit on and have a rest. Here are the tyres decorated again, just like I saw in Samoa, with plants inside to decorate the side of the road. Up on this hill was a war memorial looking out over the harbour. What a special sight. On the way back through town, I noticed this long hedge leading up to the Royal Hotel and I decided to get a closer look to see what was growing in this particular hedge. The red plant stood out to me and apparently it is the caricature plant according to my app. There was also lots of dinner plate aralea making up that hedge. Back into the street again and I discovered this amazing plant in someone's yard. And they said, come and take a photo. So I did, and I believe it is the Philippine Glory Bower. Beautiful plant. We farewelled Lavuka early the next morning. I don't know if I mentioned, but Lavuka is the previous capital of Fiji. And now we are on our way to Suva, which is the current capital of Fiji. And we're making our way to the Royal Suva Yacht Club, which is where we are now. The rain clouds have followed us, and it's very cloudy and dark here. A great opportunity to explore Suva. This is the sign for the Royal Suva Yacht Club, where we are. And here are the hedges that I thought looked really pretty outside the clubhouse. You can see the crotons, the verbena, the aralea, and the ruby erizine all in here mixed up and looking so beautiful. And here with the yellow dewdrop, we've got this beautiful 
deep maroon coleus popping through creating a beautiful contrast just outside the door here the yacht club has some friendly cats and these two look like they're related because they look very similar heading into town to the botanical gardens we passed albert park which is beside the government buildings here is the entrance and the botanic gardens are now called the Thurston Gardens. Now the captain was in front of me and I'm wondering where he's heading to. There he is. He has discovered a clump of bamboo. It's very healthy and luscious and extremely tall. A variety of palms featured as I made my way into the gardens. Majestic looking plants these are. And here is a shallow pool with a fountain, but no water today. This tree shrub caught my eye. It has got purple flowers. So I moved in for a closer look and discovered it is the yesterday, today and tomorrow plant that we also have in New Zealand. It seems to really like acidic soil and it likes tropical warm weather. You can see the clock tower in the distance there and I'm making my way up the path towards it. I'm passing between two Ahsoka trees, I believe that's what they are called. They are very important to the cultural traditions of the Indian subcontinent and they are native to India, Myanmar and Sri Lanka. They have medicinal properties and are evergreen and are really very striking trees really. I've noticed them around Suva in several places. After exploring, it's back to the boat for a rest. In the last episode, I mentioned we were sailing to Suva to pick up my son. Well, we have picked him up and he is now on board and it's so nice to have him with us. We will be hanging out in Suva for a little bit longer, so I get to keep exploring this really interesting place. Thank you so much for watching. That brings me to the end of this episode and I'll be posting again soon. So till then, bye.